EDUCAS WJEC specification asks us to consider the approach of intuitionism that considers the following. We will cover all these points within this film and also look at the example of H.A. Pritchard as an intuitionist. It is important to recognise that there are many different scholars in the field of intuitionism and they may take a slightly different approach to each other. A popular intuitionist scholar is G. E. Moore, who you will have to know for the challenges to ethical naturalism, yet is not mentioned by name just here. There are others too, and some of these shall be referred to in the first part of this film. However, none of these scholars will be asked for by name in questions on intuitionism, and they are merely examples of intuitionist perspectives. Intuitionists all claim that there are self-evident basic moral propositions that cannot be defined according to natural properties. These basic objective truths exist independently of us and the reasoning processes that we go through. So it makes no difference what we think or what society deems acceptable. There are fundamental truths that cannot be broken down into parts and cannot be explained with definitions that relate to anything else except those moral truths. We grasp basic moral principles by intuition. Moral principles are capable of being true and known through a special faculty called moral intuition. Supporters of this theory claim that there are facts about what is morally right and wrong and that our understanding of these facts is, to f is sufficient enough to deserve the title knowledge.